a Czech initiative to buy shells for the Ukrainian armed forces is gaining momentum. Czech President Pyotr Pavel said that two dozen countries have joined the initiative, but Prague is still searching for funds and partners. I think this is an indication that everybody realizes a certain debt on the promised support for Ukraine. Since the European Union promised to deliver a million shells by March this year, unfortunately that has not happened. If we don't want Ukraine to fall, which is certainly not in our interests, then it's good that initiatives like ours are being set up to try to get ammunition and the necessary equipment to Ukraine wherever possible. Petr Pavel President of the Czech Republic from a publication in Czech News Agency. Pyotr Pavel first mentioned the possibility of purchasing 800,000 artillery shells for Ukraine in mid-February 2024. According to him, then the Czech Republic found half a million ammunition of 155mm caliber and 300,000 of 122mm caliber. On March 7th, it became known that the Allies had collected the full amount needed to purchase the shells. Traditionally, the Czech Republic has remained a country with great arms potential. It has been active on export markets and accordingly has a large number of connections around the world. Now all this is being actively used both for the benefit of the Czech Republic itself, its additional income from intermediary activities and above all, of course, for the benefit of Ukraine. Within the framework of its initiative, the Czech Republic has already signed contracts for the supply of 180,000 artillery munition for Ukraine and is now working on contracting another 300,000. Piotr Fiala said the head of the Czech government emphasized that it's not a one-time initiative but a systematic project. One and a half million shells for Ukraine per year is an achievable goal for the partner countries. We believe there will be more deliveries coming soon. There is no reason why we cannot deliver another million over the next 12 months. Our aim is to create a long-term supply system of ammunition for heavy weapons. This will directly help make a difference on the front. Petr Fiala, Prime Minister of the Czech Republic. The ratio of artillery shells on the front line is 1 to 10, not in Ukraine's favor, the Ukrainian president said. According to him, in order for the Ukrainian armed forces to continue successfully holding the defense, it is necessary to at least have equal number of ammunition with Russia. You have to be much stronger than your enemy. That's what I'm talking about. Today, the artillery shells are 1 to 10. Can we hold on like that? No. In any case, with that statistic, they're going to push us back every day. If we want 100% protection of what is under our control today, we have to go from 1 to comparable numbers, 10 to 10. On March 13, 2024, an advisor to the Czech Prime Minister said that ammunition purchased under this initiative could arrive in Ukraine in early summer. According to unofficial information, the first deliveries are already underway. Moreover, the Czech program is not the only one. President Pyotr Pavel said that Estonia, the UK and France are developing a similar one. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Valeria Nekopelova, UATV News.